Hey, we're back in the garage, and today my electronic ignition came at, uh, from my Ford tractor, and I told you I was going to make a video on that. Um, the intake manifold is completely off of it, so you'll have a clear view of the distributor and how this is done, and I'll just take you through the process. Pay no never mind to the dirty workstation. But uh, here, here's what it is. Petronics, electronic ignition. As you can see, it's for a Ford 3-cylinder, which is what we're working with here. Show you everything it comes with. This is actually not very difficult um, to install. It even comes with instructions on how to do it if you've never done it before, the mere mortal person. Um, it's pretty simple. Uh, you get in your distributor cap and you take out your old uh, condenser, your points, uh, the whole point system because you won't have to deal with points on this. What it'll come with is it'll come with an igniter module, which is this. This is uh, what will come out and go to your coil pack. You have a bottom plate and a top mounting plate basically what these will do is you'll put those on like so and you'll use the flathead screw that it comes with and you'll mount this down in the bottom of the uh, module comes with a Phillips screw so you can uh, the ground itself to the cap that's what that's going to go to down through here so you can ground it out comes with two terminals for these wires two nuts to go on top of these terminals and uh, this is uh, a plastic feeler gauge so you can get your distance between your magnet sleeve and uh, mounting brackets right. Mounting sleeve, the big end, goes down so it's nice and snug. And let's get over and start disassembling the cap. Alright, this is the cap. Um, sorry about that. I'm just going to leave the spark plug wires on it. Just take the cap off. Just like that. This thing was not out in the rain. Uh, we just had a lot of condensation in here because of how cold it was last week and our sudden warm-up. So everything is just sweating beyond belief in here. Take off this. Then take off your cap. There we go. All right. We are also going to clean this before we start. So, like, here's the ground wire. You're going to leave that, but you're going to take everything else out. Screw out of that. Sorry if you couldn't see how I did that. That other screw is right here next to this ground wire. If you can see that, I'll zoom in a little bit. Oh. There we go. Sorry, I just don't want to drop these. Okay. So that's going to come out. Let's go ahead and pull the wire out with this. I don't know if that'll come out with that terminal. Oh, yeah, it will. Alrighty. 
and just come over here to this. And we're gonna take a paper towel and I'm gonna clean all this off after we're done here. All righty. Those are the old parts. Get that old screw out of there. All right, now we're down to that. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this out real quick. Okay, that's a little bit better. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take this uh, bottom mounting plate. You see the angle that's uh, cut into it right there. I'm just gonna put that right down in there. Line that up like so. And then we're gonna put the top mounting plate on it. And this is the one, you gotta hold that in place and take your flathead screwdriver See if I. All right. Hopefully I'm. Oh, yeah. There we go. Just snug it down, just like that. Now don't tighten them down yet because you might need to adjust that a little bit so it line up with that hole. All right, now we are going to take the pan head. Oh, you can see that. It's not the flat head like that one is. And we're gonna run the ground wire through that and put it down through here. Sorry if that's a little blurry for you. See, we're not lined up. Well, maybe we are. No, we're not. I'm just going to use my flathead that I have and maybe move that over a little bit. Let me loosen this up. Alright. We got movement in it now. There we go. Sorry again if I'm covering that up. Okay. Now tighten that, snug that one up. Alrighty. Now we install the igniter module and the magnet sleeve goes on after that.
Well, you, you get the point. You feed it down through that hole in there and run it around. I'm gonna go ahead and get the nuts on this. So I apologize again for that's covering up. Spin the nut on there like that. Then you do the same to that. I'm gonna figure out what size this is real quick. Okay, it's five sixteenths. Both of these nuts are just like what the what's on the coil. Okay. I'm not going to tighten these up yet. Now we put the magnet sleeve. I'm going to go ahead and feed this red wire down through. Uh, while I'm doing this, I'm going to go ahead and point out too, you cannot use just a regu your regular coil on this. You have got to use a high output coil, probably about 40 or 45,000. And it's on the way, it's not here yet, but it's, it's coming. Do that, just run it right through that hole. Boy, that's tucked in there. You just gotta make sure it's out of the way of everything. Now, the magnet sleeve goes down on, you just spin that. All right, that's snug down on there. You wanna make sure that you have this enough distance to where that doesn't hit it probably I'll probably need to take that sticker off okay which no no there is not enough room in there no so we're gonna have to readjust that actually Okay, I don't know if I loosen these up, if it'll... Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to... I'm just gonna unscrew this real quick. Oh, there we go. Now we got it. All right, I'm just gonna tighten that all up now. I just had to, I just had to knock this back a little bit and loosen up that screw. I was able to move it. This you just want to snug up. Same thing with the two nuts on the top here. Just snug them up. Because you break them studs, you just wasted a whole lot of money. Just like that. 
Gonna recheck. Yep. All right, we're good. So now, make sure that spins freely, and it does. So, all we do now is reinstall the cover. I'll take that back. We don't reinstall that. <laughs> back on. Okay. Cylinder one, facing down. All right. Just like that, guys. Uh, it's pretty simple installation. Um, I don't know if I'll film uh, hooking up the coil or not because that's pretty self-explanatory. But I do have the instruction sheet right here. How this works is your red goes to the positive on the coil. I don't know, I don't know how well you can see that. Okay. Well, it's backwards, but yeah, your red goes to the positive and your black goes to the negative. It's 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 that simple. So what it, what it does instead of just the ground going to the coil, it'll also have power going to it, which will create the current. You don't have to worry about point gap or anything no more. It's just all around better. It fires better. It starts easier when it's cold. It's it's just the way to go if you have a gas tractor. I, I recommend you doing it. it. Yeah, it's a little pricey, but it's worth it. So all right, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next project.